everybody, this is Talk About Games, and we're looking at Pokemon Go Part 2, Philadelphia. So we don't normally do part twos on Talk About Games, but today we felt that we had to because Pokemon Go has taken over the world. And today it took over our day because we went to Philadelphia. We saw the sights. We collected a bunch of Pokemon. Well, I'll tell you why we went to Philadelphia. Bruh. You're gonna find stuff on every corner. There's There are national landmarks like the Liberty Bell or Pats and Geno's and the Rocky Steps and all that. And we wanted to visit those locations because we figured, oh, if we go to the stadiums, we might find something cool. I've been looking for Pikachu for a week. Haven't right. seen him anywhere. We go to the stadiums, he was there. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Fuck yes! Pikachu! They want you to go to cool places and they want you to experience the world, really. Is that a Pokeball? That's a, a baseball. Oh. Uh, base. Base. Ball. Wait, this thing doesn't have anything to do with Pokemon? No. Oh. Well, why are we here then? Let's Billy, go somewhere Billy's. else. Like going into the city, you're seeing Pokemon more frequently. It totally changes the way that games are played. I would say the average level of a gym Pokemon. But if you wanted to collect Pokeballs, and I think that the game is very um, sort of uneven, and that might be a little unfair. I think there's a huge advantage to people that live in a city. One of the places that we really highlighted was we were over at Pat's and Gino's Steaks. You know, Philadelphia's known for cheesesteaks, and the cheesesteak culture you could easily just catch Pokemon all day. Yeah, uh, we, we caught a whole bunch of Squirtles. Inside Citizens Bank Park, there wasn't a Phillies game going on at the time, so we couldn't go in there. With the Rocky statue, there was a lot of like Rattatats in the area, which was kind of funny. We ran up the steps. We're dealing with all of these server issues, but we're still having a fun time. Yeah. And the core of what makes Pokemon Go great is not really the mechanics of the game, but the fact that it brings friends together and gets them to go to places. You know, I've lived in this city for a long, long time. I never had a Lorenzo's pizza. The fact that I was able to have a Lorenzo's pizza the fact that we were, I was able to go to the Liberty Bell. I've gone to the Liberty Bell maybe two, three times in my life. I think what you're trying to say is that it's great to be able to meet people and to be walking down the street. And you know, th there were several times today when we were in Philadelphia where somebody would come up to us and they'd be like, hey, you're playing Pokemon Go. That's great, you guys shooting a video about it. You're seeing Pokeballs. I want to ask you how you feel about the eggs because I feel like right now, <laughs> I think the eggs are great. They're making their money on the bag upgrades. Mm -hmm. the... I think that that's something that is great about the game. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait till Pokemon Go does their first city event. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be really cool. Once you get to around, you know, level 19, 20, the game needs to have something more. I, I don't want it to be like this global marketplace that has all the stuff. Well, to trade with If them. a person with it isn't within like 50 feet, then you can't do it. You can't trade with them. Get those fucking guys 50 feet away from me right now. Corey Trevor, 50 feet. Stand by that stick and stay. Basically, if you don't make friends, you're not gonna get very far. And if I don't have any friends, I'm not gonna get very far because I'm not gonna be able to really take over that gym. I was really happy that, that the actual Rocky statue at the bottom of the steps was a gym. Yeah, Rocky, you gotta go to the gym, you know? Hey. Right. There's a bar called John's. It was the birthplace of Larry Fine from the Three Stooges. Caught some Pokemon there. But, you know, Pokemon Go, I feel like it brought brought it back to the core. It's the original Pokemon. It's, it's, it's... Again, I really enjoy the game. Good stuff. This is good old Mike Schmidt. Love Mike Schmidt. Mike Matei. Mike, Mike Schmidt. Schmidt. What else do you need to know? Oh, I got an egg. I'm putting it in the incubator. Oh, shit. Thank you, Mike Schmidt. You're a hero. You're a hero, Mike Schmidt. A true hero. I don't know who Mike Schmidt is. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> 